Hello, this is Raphael, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple um, iPhone app using Xcode 8. So, if you haven't already seen my previous video, I did a tutorial on how to do this with Xcode 7. So, this is pretty much an updated version, and this is also an updated version of the Hello World app that we made previously. This time, we've added, we've, we'll be making them add color to the labels, and if we want to press spin, each of our three labels will start spinning to the left, so it's spinning counterclockwise. So it's a pretty fun app to make, a simple, um, simple but fun. And um, let's get right into this. I'm excited to make this video with you guys, and um, hope you guys also enjoy making this this um, app for you. So let's start the video right now. All right, so over here in Xcode, we're gonna um click on create a new Xcode project. So as of right now, I'm using in at the time of the recording, I'm using version 8.3.3. Um, if you're watching this video in a couple of years, it might things may look a little bit different, but overall everything should function in probably almost the same way. So let's click on create a new Xcode project. We want an application under iOS. We want a single view application, and click next. Product name, I'm gonna call this, we'll do hello, probably hello world, tutorial. As usual, call yours whatever you want. And this time, instead of Swift, we're gonna use Objective-C. I have a Swift tutorial on how to make a QR code generator as well. I made it yesterday. And we want our devices to be universal. And let's click next right now. So I'm gonna save it wherever you want to. I'm saving it in my coding workspace. That's where I create my apps at. And now we have created our project. Now first things first, we're gonna make our simulator go go to iPhone 7. Because we're designing mainly for the iPhone 7 in this tutorial. So let's go over here and underneath deployment info, so make sure it's uh, opened. And under device orientation, we're gonna untick landscape left and right. Because we want our uh, app to be played in portrait mode. As you saw earlier in the video, my um, simulator was portrait like this. This was portrait mode. And um, we want our deployment target to be uh, probably 10.0. Okay, so that's that's now it is saying pretty much our player or our um, user needs to have at least ver iOS version 10 to use this app. And our device is universal. Okay, so let's go over here, head over to the left um, pane, and let's go to our main that storyboard. And here we're going to design our user interface. Let's get rid of this entire box here by going here and, and pressing this, this little um, document outline thing. So now we have a bigger screen to develop on. So let's, before we um, add anything in here, let's quickly press this. So we press the white over here, and we're going to... Go over here to the attributes inspector and let's change the background color to black. Like that. So let's, let's, let's add a label here. So let me let me find a uh, label. Here we go. And now if you as you saw earlier for the tutorial, we did we had three Hello World labels, so let's resize that a little bit. Let's probably make that like size 19. And this will say Hello World. Add add two lines because I don't want to avoid I want to avoid a potential glitch there. So let's add two lines, and as we had three labels, we're gonna copy and paste it three times. So there you go. We have three labels now. So we're gonna make all of these labels flash different colors, and we're gonna have two buttons that will make it spin, and one that will make it um change color. So let's add in two buttons first, and this will be spin. I'm gonna add an exclamation mark just to make it not look boring. And I'm gonna copy and paste it, command C and paste it, command V, and this will say add color. Just like that. Alright, so that that is that's all done now. So that's all done now. That's all we need to have. So let's actually put this down a little bit. So that's all done. We're gonna go over here and bring our assistant editor up. And over here on our view controller.m, it's gonna we're gonna Press view control dot h. Uh, this is our header file. So as you know, an objective c dot h uh, means header file, and dot m means implementation files. So yeah, you can, you can learn more about that if you go to the Apple documentation about Objective C. 
So back into the tutorial, we're gonna go over here and space it out and add in an open parentheses and space out some some um, space over here, some lines. Now we're gonna link with control click or right click and link it over here and this will be hello world one. We're gonna go to our connection connections and change it to outlet and strong storage strong and type is UI label. So connect that. And then this link that up as well. This will be the same thing. I said it will be Hello World 2. Make that there. Connect. So link that up once again. Link this up. Hello World 3. If you guys ha are having trouble with that, just simply do IB Outlet UI Label Space Hello World 4. 4, for example, then you can like link it up to each one of them. I'm. That is that's only that's only if you're having like any trouble with with that. So, if if you are not if this is just an example, right? I don't have to. We not we don't need a hello world four because we only have three labels over here. So for these two buttons, let's go over here and type in our IB action. So hyphen open bracket IB action. Oops, IB action. Close bracket and this will be spin action. And then and then end that with a semicolon. And copy and paste that, and then this will be add caller. So yeah, I suggest I recommend you guys type this out instead of um simply linking it up because if you're um new to programming and you guys wanna um you guys wanna get proficient at it, I suggest you type you type them out manually. But if you're an experienced programmer like me, then I don't that that's not really um that important. So because you know or you already memorize how to type it out. So we're gonna link spin action to spin. And we're gonna link add color to the add color um, button just underneath. So make sure that you link them up correctly. You can do that by hovering over these two um, circles, and you can also do that over here to make sure you link them up correctly as well. So let's command command S to save it just in case Xcode crashes. And let's go over here to our view control. And actually, wait, we're gonna copy and paste these. And over here in our view control that M, we're gonna paste them all over here, and replace the semicolon with an open parenthesis as well. Ooh. Why I don't know why I did that. Um, then do that with this as well. So we're over here. We're gonna type in some methods. So we're gonna do hyphen open bracket void close bracket add caller one, and we're gonna copy and paste it four times. We're gonna make these four um, methods start looping as well. So hyphen open bracket void, and this time it is for the spin. So spin method, and we're gonna copy all four of these onto our view control M. So I'm gonna find us, I'm gonna find a spare space and replace each of the semicolon with open parentheses, like so. Just like that. All right. Command S that and save this as well. Now um we're gonna do add color. This will be bracket self space add color one. Now you have to make sure that whatever you called your first method has to match whatever you type in here. So I, I named mine add color one and that's the name of this as well. So it's saying this will run when we click the add color button, it will run this method, and we want this method to run this method, and so on. And we want them to loop, like we saw in the in the um, sample app. So let's do hello world one dot text color space equals space bracket UI color space. We'll do red color, so that is setting it as the color red. We'll copy and paste this. Uh, let me copy and paste that properly probably uh, three times because we have three labels over here so red color blue color and this one green color again you can mess around with with your personal choice I'm just simply naming these red color blue color and green color you can choose orange color or you can use cyan color or orange or purple or whatever so I'm just gonna call this a green color for now so I'm gonna copy all three of these in each four um, methods this time we, we, we can mess them around, so I'll do blue color, orange color, cyan color, red color. We'll leave it. We'll leave it at that. Green color, this yellow, and lastly orange color, 
uh, blue color. Can we can leave it like that, and this will be purple color. Now, so what we're gonna do now is that once this method runs, this method will all will, this method over here will trigger this method to run, which will trigger this, which will also trigger this, and it will and then this will trigger the first method to run again, and it will continue looping and looping. So to do that, we'll do bracket self. And this time, instead of ad saying add color to, because we want to have a little little delay, so we're gonna do perform selector, and then at sign selector, add color to, with object nil. After delay, probably one. Close bracket semicolon. So now it is saying run add color to. So it will run this method after a one second delay. So you can see the it will give the illusion of the color flashing. So we're going to copy this on all three methods, or four methods. And this time we're placing add color to add color 3, add color 4, and now add color 4. We're not going to do add color 5, because we're going to do add color 1. Because as I said, we want this to, we want all four of these to continue looping. So once it reaches add color 4, it will loop to add color 1, which will continue doing this over and over again. So just to make sure I typed everything correctly, because it's a bit small, it says all, that's all correct. Okay, so then, that is the add color math, that's add color done, so let's click build and run now to start our app, and we will do the spin method just in a few moments. Okay, wait for the simulator to load up. It can take a bit, there we go. So if we, let me click add color. As you see now, it is flashing with a one second delay. That's because we set the after delay to one. So now every one second the color will change. But if we were to do spin, for example, it would not labels will not spin because we haven't yet here we haven't yet coded anything for our spin action. So let's click stop right now and let's do the spin action right now. So we're gonna do bracket self space uh, perform selector. And an at selector spin method with object nil after delay 0 0.5 and end that with a semicolon. And now it this is saying it will run spin method, which is this over here, after a delay of 0.5 seconds. Okay, so here comes the tricky part, so stay with me here. We're gonna be coding CA basic animation, so make sure you make sure you type everything correctly or else it might not work. So do C A basic animation space asterisk rotate. By the way, if you've seen my um, if you've already seen my tutorial on how to rotate objects, it's in my channel, and it you might this might be familiar to you. So equal space a bracket C A basic animation space animation with key path. Now this is really important, guys. I have made an error in this before, so do transform. As this, you have to type it exactly how I type it. Transform dot rotation dot z dot z or z whatever. Transform the rotation at z. Okay, and end that with a semicolon. We're gonna enter and type in rotate dot to value space equals space um at sign bracket. This time not the not the square bracket, but this time the um bracket itself. Now we want it to ro rotate counterclockwise, so we're gonna do negative sign m underscore pi and space asterisk space two close bracket semicolon. If you were to rotate to to rotate clockwise, remove the negative sign. So if you want to rotate clockwise, just remove that. But since our app is gonna make it rotate counterclockwise, we're gonna add in our counterclockwise um negative sign there. So enter that, and I'm gonna add in rotate dot duration, and we're gonna do equal space 1.5. Now this I landed on 1.5, but more of a try trial and error type. So when I designed the first one, I ended up that 1.5 is probably the best speed for for this um for the labels to move. But if you want them to move slower, I'll type in here. If you want them to move slower, make it greater than. But if you want them to move faster, 
make it less than. So, if the number is less, so say it's 1, it will move faster. If it's 2, it will move much slower. So, I'm doing 1.5 for this. So, let's go and type here and type in rotate dot cumulative. I'm not sorry if I pronounced that wrongly. Space equals space true. And it end that with a semicolon. And lastly, rotate dot repeat count equals huge on un oops underscore valve. And and end each line with a semicolon. Xcode should remind you of that as well. Lastly, we're gonna do bracket self uh da dash sign and a uh, arrow. We're gonna make an error. Arrow, I'm sorry. Hello world, hello world one dot layer space add animation and rotate for key again type this in exactly how I type it in so we're gonna do rotate and nim and then end that with a semicolon now we're just gonna copy and paste now let's actually before we copy and paste it let's test them all out so make sure you make sure that's all correct it's all good so let's let's click build and run for now we are only gonna do it for hello world one the first on label Let's see, it goes to our simulator right now and press spin. So now we want we want Hello World 2 and 3 to start spinning as well. So let's stop and let's copy and paste this two times. So right guys, this, we are almost at the end. So you guys are doing very well. We're almost at the very end of this video. We're going to replace Hello World 2 and Hello World 3. Now since we since it's giving us an error because... We can't do it because we have declared rotate here, so it's like a duplicate thing. So we just simply have to add rotate two and and replace each rotate here with rotate two. So stay with me. Hope hope you guys can see this properly. And this one will be rotate three, like so. So let's test it out. And now we are all done. So let's review what we did here. So before we, uh, before I test out the app, I'll explain in detail what we did. So we first declared our IB outlets over here, which each three of these represent each of the three labels, and these represent the two buttons. So when when we press the buttons, we we coded what will happen in between. So the add color saying add color one means it will activate this method over here, which will activate all the other four methods as well. And then we did the spin action method, which we added a point, point 0.5 second delay before it does the spin method. And we made all three labels start to rotate. Like so. These are the This is the code to make them rotate. Again, if you want them to move clockwise, you are simply to remove that. But I'm going to make it all counterclockwise. So that is... That's what I did earlier. And now we are all done, guys. So let's... Command S to save and let's click build and run. And let's check it out. So again, it can it can take a bit for it to open. Now if you were to spin, all three labels are now spinning, and if you were to add color, each of them are flashing different colors now. Alright, so that is that is it for this tutorial. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Um hope you guys enjoyed making this app with me and um Hit like and hit subscribe if this tutorial helped you out. And um, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Um, stay tuned. And um, again, yeah, hit the like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter for more updates as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys.